you have to step into that uncomfortable area of development, just like weight training, dieting, anything worth having and maintaining is going to require effort. And you are trying to learn the highest form of financial education on the planet. Think about what you're expecting. You think that you're just going to roller skate into this shit with $500, $100 account, and all of a sudden now you're fucking rich. This is not Instagram, okay? That's all bullshit over there. It's going to take you a lot more time, a lot more effort, and a whole lot more money than you're willing to put into it. And now there's other avenues where these funding companies are making it available to you. That resource, while it's available, it might be worth it. I'm not saying you should. It might be worth it for you to do it. But you won't beat it unless you're disciplined. You won't beat it unless you're organized. You won't beat it. You won't beat that combine. If you do not have the right mindset and have control over yourself and say, okay, this is all I'm doing. This is all I'm doing. So you think 10 handle runs, 20 handle runs when I'm doing them, like, man, I, I wish I could do that. You know what you should be doing? You should be saying, I want to be good at getting consistently three handles. It's not even five. Start there. If five's too much, start with three. Once a day. And if you can do it, then start aiming for one in the morning, one in the afternoon. That's six handles a day. In 10 days, you could whip the shit out of that combine if you did that with one contract. You don't need to use their high-end, this is how many contracts you can trade. It's, you don't need it. One contract, you can replace what you earn at majority of what your present income is. Now, I know there's some of you are six-figure people that have careers and such, and God bless you for it. But the majority of folks in America don't make six figures. Majority of them don't even make 50000 a year. It's sad. But you can make $50,000 easy as fuck. Even with that little $50,000 low rung funded account. That's what I told Cameron. I said, think about like that. 50000 that's all you got. You can't get the 100000 You can't get the 150000 You got to make it work with the 50000 If you don't trade... More than one contract, and you can replace your job's income, is that a failure? He goes, man, that'd be awesome. Right. So why didn't you think about that when you were doing the other shit? Well, because I want because you want. That's the problem. You want. Wanting is a problem. You need to slow the fuck down. You have to slow down. All of that and more is available to the people that understand themselves, the markets, and the timing aspect. All of you know, all of you know, in the United States at least, what took place yesterday in our country. Fourth of July, it's a holiday. So the protocol is expectations low. Now, we moved a lot in the morning, uncharacteristically. That's fine. But what did we have in the afternoon? FOMC minutes. Now, typically, that's not a big mover, but it causes a little flurry of action. So, was today an easy day? Not if you're brand new. No, it's not. So, if you felt overwhelmed, it's normal. It's absolutely normal. And you shouldn't be beating yourself up. If you lost money trying to do something today, learn from it, but don't beat yourself up. But it's easy to try to tell yourself, why bother? I'm going to fail. I'm never going to be able to do this. I lost money, blah, blah, blah. I was a guy I was talking to last week. I think it was last week or over the weekend. He was saying, you know, thanks for everything, ICT, but uh, I lost too much money. I got to stop. Right away, I knew that the guy was trading before he should have. And I didn't want to, in Twitter, beat him up. But you know who you are. You rushed into that. Because you are probably overwhelmed in debt. You're probably overwhelmed with uh, you know, the pressures of the world and, and your personal life. And you, you need to make a change. 
everybody has room to make change. But in this industry, you can't speed it up. Just because you need it, just because you want it, isn't going to make it manifest itself, okay? I am not a believer of manifest it and it's going to appear. No, because if that happened, it would have happened for me because I was doing all that stuff in the beginning and it never worked. And working very, very hard doing the wrong shit isn't going to make it happen either. You have to know what you're doing and you have to know yourself intimately. That means all the ugly parts, the things that you'd never want to share with anybody else. That shit is the problem. And every one of us, every single one of us have those flaws, those triggering mechanisms that cause us to lash out in our personal relationships. We start fights and arguments. And we don't realize it, but we're doing it. We're causing drama at work. Online. If you go to bars or whatever, something happens in your brain before you got in that fist fight and either got your ass kicked or beat the other guy. And now you're in jail. You're driving down the road. Somebody does something. You get out and you kick and stomp their car in. Now you're getting fucking sued. All of us have frailties, character flaws. And nobody talks about the things that's going to wreck your ass in trading because it's not pleasant. Nobody wants to be reminded that we're all human, that we all have to wipe our ass. Yeah. That's the reality, folks. There's no sugarcoating in here. And if you don't have these realistic perspectives going into this, it's easy to fall into Instagram fanciful believing it's fairy tales and it's all going to happen for me magically. All I got to do is buy this guy's bullshit, sign up to his Discord, go into his horse shit. Nope. It's going to take a lot of effort. But I promise you, I promise you, if you do what's required, it will be a whole lot less time that you're fearful it will require. See, you're thinking it's going to take 30 years. No. You're, gonna th you're thinking it's going to take six years. ICT said it took him six years to figure this shit out. No, I had to figure myself out in those six years. I figured out everything I needed to know about the trading part in a little less than three and a half years. But we'll call it three and a half, just call it three and a half. But it's just, just a tad underneath three and a half years. I had everything in my head technically that needed to be applied for me to find everything I needed to find for setups, endless setups. But I wasn't satisfied. I wanted to supercharge it even more, and I was pursuing perfection, and I created a lot more performance anxiety issues in myself by trying to improve upon what you now know and what I'm sharing here. So it won't it won't take you when you when you get there, when you arrive at your consistently profitable, comfortable zone where you don't need to do anything else. You, need, you don't need to tinker with it. You don't need to change anything. You don't need to watch anybody else's videos, mine included. You ain't got to watch anybody else's uh, courses, books, none of that shit. You know exactly what you're doing tomorrow, the next day, five years from now, it's going to be the same show. Boring. You go in, you make your money, you stop, you go live your life. That's what real traders do that's what real traders do they are not in here all day long chained to these fucking computers they're not doing that they're not doing that folks the people that make money they go in they get their shit they get done and they go live their life how many of you are looking at trading like that chances are you're not you want to trade the London session, then you want to trade the New York session, then you want to trade the PM session, and then oh, yeah, I hope there's going to be a move in the Asian session because fuck it, I got time. No, no. Which time of day works for you? London, morning AM in New York, or PM session? Forget Asia. You can't trade in Asia. There's not enough moves. Can it? Does it sometimes? Yes. But not, in my opinion, not to find consistency and find yourself out of your job. No. No. The volatility is too low right now. When the, when the markets were really wild and we had these really 300 pip handle, uh, not handle, but 300 pip ranges every day. This was years ago. Asia used to be really nice. But it's, con it's consolidated. And it's a whole lot more quiet in that period of time, even in the yen pairs, Aussie pairs, New Zealand dollar, you know, they're, they're usually the markets that are prone to be more active than, and they're just simply not enticing enough to do it.
So what happens? What do you got to do? ICT, if, if the only thing I can trade right now is in Asia, then you need to make changes in your life. If you want this bad enough, you'll make the changes. And the efforts that you do in your back testing will give you the courage to make those changes. Don't just do it blindly. Show yourself with evidence that the things that I'm teaching you are in the charts, not because you did it for a week or a month. Really, really go in there and be highly critical. Do the things I tell you show up in price action when I tell you they're going to show up, how I teach you that they're going to appear in price. You're not manifesting shit. The market's going to design. It's, it's, it's designed. It's coded to deliver like this. If these things are in price action beforehand, in that time of day, you expect this thing to un unfold and then you wait for it to happen. And you do that week after week until you have months of experience doing it. Nobody's going to be able to convince you that what you have observed isn't the facts in reality. And you will do whatever you need to do to make the changes in your life. That means change your career, change your location, move, step down from how you live. Right now, if you're single and you don't have kids, it's real easy to do that. But if you have a family, that's eh, challenging. I'm not saying it isn't. But are you willing if you discover that you know you can do this, but you have to make some changes that require you to go down in your living? You might live in a nice single family house. What happens if you go down to an apartment because of the requirements for money or moving to a different time zone? All of you are going to have different things, these different kinds of barriers, but they're not mountains that can't be passed. They're just speed bumps. And I'm trying to minimize it because I know some of you are going to have, but you, ICT, you don't know. It's easy for you to say, no, look, I'm not saying it's easy. I'm saying that I don't have a way of fixing everything for all of you. Remember, no sugarcoating. And you can't fault me because you live in a time zone and work a career and you have a family and you have a spouse that is not supportive. That's not my fucking problem. I didn't create that problem for you. And some of you send me emails bitching to me like I caused that for you. <laughs> I didn't do that. I don't even know you. But that's the level of mentality some people will apply to me as a mentor and think that, you know, I'm somehow supposed to pull something out of my ass to, to fix that. I don't have a solution for those things. You're going to have to make those changes. So there's a lot of difficulty when you step into this industry, and it's intimidating. And if you start off on the wrong foot, even worse when you're told not to do those things and you do it, and now you have fear behind every execution. You have concern about whether you're never going to be profitable or not. It's easy to talk yourself out of it. It's real easy to talk yourself out of this. And I'm just reminding you, don't. Don't. I'm not making any money talking to you right now. There's no ads here. I want you to be successful. I want you to know what you're walking into is going to be very difficult because you're going to make it almost impossible. You are. You are the thing that's going to make it or break it. It's it. That's the way it works. You're not going to shorten the learning curve by anything, nothing. I don't care what they put in their titles of their fucking videos. Nothing is going to shorten that learning curve. It is not going to happen. Whatever that you on an individual basis require is what's going to require. And you don't know how long it's going to take. But you have to show up with the expectation that I'm here for the duration. This lifestyle, this income opportunity is worth it. I don't give a shit how many months I got to do back testing. I don't give a shit how long I got to uh, do tapering in the future. My outcome, my end result is I'm going to make whatever the fuck I want to make. And nobody's telling me how much it can be. Nobody's going to put a limit on it. Nobody's going to tell me I can't go on a vacation, go here, go here. Uh, nobody's going to tell me I can't afford this. Nobody's doing that. Nobody is doing that. And I don't need to put a fucking resume together anymore because I'm not trying to get hired by anybody. Nobody can employ me. There's not a fucking job out there that can pay what I can earn in these marketplaces. 
That's what your mentality needs to be. Maybe not so much with the cuss words, but that's how it has to be, folks. That's how it has to be. You have to resolve in yourself, say, you know what? This is going to be hard. But everything that you do that leads you to that, once you get here, once you know exactly what you're doing, and it never changes, once you, once you learn how to ride this bicycle, it's your skill set for life. And where you want to pedal that fucking bike and how far and how high is up to you. Nothing limits that. Nothing limits that. Look around. Look around. These folks out there did not even use their own money. And they went into these other companies, did their processes, passed their combine, beat the shit out of the stuff they laid in front of them as a challenge. And they're taking down six figure plus half million dollars now. And the companies themselves are interviewing them. Where's the fucking reason to doubt it? What's the excuse that you can't do it now? What's, what is the excuse that says you, you can't do this? The ones that you're making up in your mind. The ones that you're saying, I just wish it was easier. I wish I could just do it faster. The folks that are doing it, I promise you, their fears, their biggest fear of how long it might take is a joke to them now. Because they are there now. They can do it. They know exactly what they're doing. They know tomorrow, next year, they're going to be able to do the same shit. And they think about the things that they worried about while they were going up. When they were working their ass off going through this stuff, they were thinking about all the things that you're putting in your brain right now as a reason to just quit. Why bother? I promise you, if you're listening, if you are listening and you've made money, Using the shit I've taught and you felt this overwhelming fear or I want to quit or it's going to take me forever. Once you got there, isn't it silly how you thought and clung to those fearful things and held them close to you like they're best friends. You don't want to let go of them. Those fearful thoughts are perfect excuses for you to stop. Their excuses as to why you didn't succeed instead of saying, yeah, it's normal for me to feel this way. And when you get there and you make your money and you're consistently profitable, you're going to look back at that and see how silly that was. You're going to laugh literally out loud thinking, why the fuck did I think like that? But it's normal. But once you're there and you look back, it's like, that was dumb. Like that was wasted fear and energy worrying about something that wasn't even that big of a factor. I just showed up every day, did what I was supposed to do, and I'm here now. I can't I can't pull it back from them and say, oh, I don't like you. Let me let me take that information from you. Your your abilities are now being revoked. <laughs> like a license agreement. No. You learned that skill. You fucking earned it. You worked for it. It's yours now. Run with it. I'm just asking to share share with me in private what you're doing. I would love to I would love to keep up with all of you. And the folks that do well, they do that. Some of them have stepped out there in the public's eye and they see it. You see it. They want to be bigger giants and titans in the industry. God bless them. I'm not trying to pull any of them down. I'm pointing to them. Look, look what they did. Look what they did. I didn't tell them those trades. They got in on their own. They pushed their accounts up there on their own. That's fucking awesome. And every single one of you have the ability to do this and more. But you're sitting around worrying about, oh, what if the market stops working? Who the fuck knows if it's going to stop tomorrow? Who cares? Why are you worried about it? Well, what, the market, all these people are learning your shit. I see the article is going to change. I'm not changing shit. It's not changing. Why are you wasting time making excuses for your shit? Get out there and start working towards it. You might as well just roll over and fucking die if that's how you're thinking about it. Like, oh, well, you know, what's the, what's the point? I mean, it was, you know, I might as well just work this shit job and this mundane existence, you know, because they might change everything. What if is the worst thing you could ever do? If it's holding you back, if a what if thought is holding you back, you need to flip that shit upside down and say, what if it doesn't stop? What if I get out there and I do it and I fucking make way more money than I fucking never thought I could? What happens if I do it in half the fucking time that I've been fearful it's going to require? Do that. 
Because that's the, the shit I had to do. I had all those fearful thoughts. I had all that shit. And I said, you know what? There's nobody here encouraging me, so I'm going to look at this like I'm a fucking underdog. The world says I can't do it. My friends and family says I can't do it. My wife left me. I'm fucking broke. I'm going to change shit now. I'm going to fucking do this. They said I can't do it. I'm going to find 81 fucking ways to do it. 81. I dare a motherfucker out there to say they got more fucking entry techniques than me. They're a fucking person. One that can do that. I will tap dance every fucking day on these fucking markets and do whatever the fuck I want. Moonwalk out the fucking door. Profitable. There ain't a fucking thing I can't do in these markets. And when you know how to do this shit, you'll feel just like that. And if they want to say you're arrogant, fuck them. 